Sarah Marie Thompson here with wildandcreative.com, and I am back again with another visualization created by Sherilyn Hidalgo around the Celtic tree calendar, and this time that we are in right now is the ash tree, and the ash goes from February 21st to March 20th, and the ash is a very interesting tree. It's all about mystery, magic, deep connection. It's all about as above, so below. The statement around the ash tree also is, I believe, which is a very important statement when it comes to magic and manifesting. In Celtic mythology, ash was the tree of enchantment and magic. In Celtic mythology, ash was a tree of enchantment and magic. So magic wands were made from ash wood and were used to create spells. So it was understood that spell manifestations were created with this respect, um, with, the, with the essence of ash wood, because it really had that deep, deep earthly connection to it. Ash represents the center of all that is, also the center of ourselves. So what we retrieve when we take time to notice our inner life can bring brought forth with our depths. Never think that you are one tiny inconsequential speck of life without power or purpose. It's just not true. The ash tree reminds us that when you turn away from lies and hurtful, self-hating programming and begin to live with your inner fire and inspiration, you affect everything in this world, including other people, positively. Ash offers you a guide for how to accomplish this. So we'll dive right in. I'm excited to provide you with this um, visualization. So get comfortable. And, uh, and always after the visualization, it's great to write down in a journal what your ideas, thoughts, or inspirations were. So in your mind's eye, travel to a place at the very center of the world. When you arrive you see a tree marking the spot. You make sense that the tree lives inside of you and is growing at the very place where you meet your soul. Take a moment to really connect with this tree. Notice the shape of the tree, its size, the strength of its trunk, and its foliage. This is the tree of yourself at the center of the world. You begin to notice the story of your life imprinted upon the tree. You see that the times that were difficult for you and the lessons you learned are all here. Notice any gnarled places where the story tells of wounding, bitterness, despair, also notice your joys and achievements written here. Really take this in and closely examine this tree. This is your tree. As your story approaches this moment in your life, you notice any stuck places or difficulties. Notice also as the tree branches out to new possibilities for you. Notice how the sun begins to shine through the branches as they reach up to the sky. Be aware of the steady growth of your tree. While you stand there watching your tree, three tree nymphs come into view to communicate with you. There is a maiden, a mother, and a wise old crone. They are dancing and they are merry. And you enjoy watching them interact with each other. They come to stand with you to honor you and your tree. They remark on its beauty and you too begin to feel the beauty and presence of this tree. For this tree is the story of your life. Looking into the heart of your tree, you form a connection to your own heart. As you honor your central flame, you feed it with love. As you do this, your heart flame grows and fills you with warmth and appreciation. Listen very carefully 
for that small central voice at the core of yourself is ready to speak to you. Listen to its messages and its concerns. Simply lend your ear for a moment. Be willing to quiet your mind, so concerned with judgments, comparisons, and analysis. Be willing to surrender yourself to beauty, peace, harmony, and love. Try to recall music, songs, books, or poems that have really moved you. Try to recall what has really inspired you. Think for a moment about what really feeds you and what you most enjoy. Here at the center, you find inspiration, the courage to be yourself, and the ability to connect with your own heart. Take a moment to remember who you really are, who you truly are. At this time, the three nymphs surround you in a circle and sing you their special song. You become filled with their magic. They are the three fates that spin your story. Let them know what you want to have happen in the next chapter of your life. Communicate these intentions from the deepest place, from your heart's desires. If the tree of yourself here could speak, what would it request? As the journey concludes, give your gratitude to the tree spirits. Honor your world tree and let it know that you intend for it to thrive. Embrace the next chapter of your life that you have begun to create. And feel the power of possibility and intention towards your greatest good. Be prepared to share the results of whatever may come in the future. It is the fruit that grows from your own tree. Now gently come back into this time and place, and after grounding yourself and centering, write your experiences in your journal. You have the ability to create anything that you desire. It all starts with you deciding.